Hi, I'm Jared Hatfield and welcome to the first edition of Tablet Tips, brought to you by the Student Tablet Users Group here at the University of Louisville. This first tip is going to explain how to use Journal, a program on Windows Vista Tablet Edition and Windows XP Tablet Edition, in order to do your EAC homework. I'm going to assume that you've downloaded the template, which is available on Blackboard. Now, here's how you do it. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the template that's available on Blackboard. I'm going to open up the template, and when I do, this is just a standard journal note template. So when I go to File, Save, it will not overwrite the original template. I'm going to simply save this in a memorable place as Unit 1, and now it's saved. Be sure to not forget where you store your homework. It's very important. Now this template provides both the vertical and horizontal line that are ruled on normal EAC template. I'm going to fill this out. Let's assume I'm in 101. This is unit 1 and that I am John Doe. Now when I get to do number 1, I simply write number 1 here and then I perform all the work. Obviously I'm not going to work out for this instructional video. Now when I get time to rule the line, typically this is where you'd pull out your ruler, but your tablet PC gives you a few advantages. Simply rule the line across the page like you normally would. Now that's all wobbly. I'm going to actually right click on the line and highlight it. When I do I have the line selected. Up in the actions menu, change shape to, I can change that shape to a line. I'll show that again. I'm just going to rule a line right-click on it to select it. Actions, change shape to line. That's very important. Now, let's say I finished my homework. I finished it all. There was only two problems on this assignment. Now, making sure I save constantly, I'm going to go to File, Print. Now, this is very important. If you just print like it is, it will not print correctly. The vertical and horizontal lines will not show. You have to go to the Options, and then there's this checkbox, Background Colors and Images. Be sure that that checkbox is checked before printing. That is very important. Now I just select the printer I want, I click print, and my homework's ready to turn in. Don't forget to staple.